new year guys this is my first video for 2024 and let's jump right into it so in 2024 I'm gonna be adding in a few different series to my content and this is gonna be one of them and it's called my fashion radar basically what I'm gonna do is through my shopping browsing online traveling watching other content creators I'm gonna start pulling out some of my fashion radar items meaning things that I want to actually add to my closet. Some of these items are going to be luxuries, some are not. Some are going to be pieces that are on sale, but you guys already know I'm not a fan of sale shopping. So if something's on sale, that means it's already in my bucket to purchase, okay? Or even on a wish list. So this is going to be the first video of my fashion radar and I hope you guys enjoy it. The first item on my fashion radar is this beautiful red leather croc effect trench coat from Alexandra Rich. Now this jacket is a little pricey for some but you guys already know as a tall girl if I see an item that I want and it fits my frame I'm gonna get it. This so happens to be on sale at my Teresa right now and I'm super ecstatic because the jacket is over three thousand dollars. Again as a six foot tall girly your girl has to get what works for her. I can't really go off of what everybody else is doing because it just doesn't work out for me that way. So I've always been this way. I've shopped regular brands and made them work for me. This jacket is no different. It's like a croc effect. It's red. If you don't know, if you haven't followed me for a while, I am Coco and my favorite color is red. It doesn't mean that I have a ton of red stuff in my wardrobe, but I do have those key pieces that actually make certain outfits stand out this jacket okay they have a size 10 it is oversized according to the details you guys know I always read the details the model is 510 now I don't know if they be lying guys but I did pay attention to the sleeves because it does not have the details as far as the sleeve length but I'm looking at the sleeves as a tall girl these are things that you should always look at when you're shopping what I'm noticing that a lot of brands are now making things and the sleeves are like so short even on a average height girly but this jacket if you scroll through the pictures and I'll show you guys that she has pretty long arms and the jacket is past her knuckle her knuckle knuckle yes <laughs> so that I actually passed her thumb area knuckle area yeah so that's a good that's a plus for me so this is on my fashion radar it's on sale like I said it's leather it's beautiful it's not a structured fit jacket like as far as tailored fit but it is more of an oversized something that you can just throw on and keep it pushing guys so that's the first thing on my fashion radar for 2024 let me know what you guys think how do you feel about sale shopping listen I when I have clients I do tell them I'm not really big on sell shopping and that is my reason because when you sell shop you just end up buying things that you absolutely do not need and you probably won't wear. A really good tip is to always create a shopping list or like a luxury list or a wish list um, whatever you want to call it and shop from there. If that item actually goes on sale it's a win for you. You're buying something that you already wanted. It's on sale and you're going to wear it a ton. So that's the first item for me is my Alexander Rich Red Croc Effect Trench Leather Coat. The second item is a pair of Loewe Mask Sunglasses. Now, I do not own any pair of shades that are super straight at the top. It's never been my thing. I just didn't feel like it would fit in my face. But these... The price is a very reasonable in my opinion as opposed to the other glasses that I want. <laughs> um, but these are something that I feel can go with a lot of my leather coats, my trench coats. It's going to add a little bit of edge to my wardrobe. I don't have a ton of edgy things but I do have pieces that actually make certain things stand out. And these guys are perfect. I'm not really big on the huge logos on the side of glasses. These are not as big as some of the other ones. But I had these on my radar for some time now. I don't see a ton of girls with them. So that's also a plus for me. Um, so on my radar for 2024. And I'll probably get those soon. 
and the jacket to be quite honest with you <laughs> pieces like these are things that add value to my wardrobe if i don't feel like it's gonna add value i'm just not gonna get it which is why i haven't been shopping because i haven't been seeing a ton of things that i absolutely love if you have seen this necklace i only seen maybe two people with this necklace it may be a little bit gaudy for some but i'm six feet so for me i need something that is going to uh, stand out on me as well as as opposed to just my height. So the Dylan X gilded necklace <sighs> Chef's kiss, okay now I like brass jewelry because a lot of the jewelry now is like plated and it turns really fast um, Or it can cause like a rash or something on you. This is a brass necklace. It has so many layers to it I think this necklace is really nice now, if you are a girl who does not want to wear this open, it may not be the necklace for you, but let's get into the habit of wearing some double-sided tape to get the girls over and then have the necklace on. A little bit pricey for some, but again, for me, it's a statement piece for my wardrobe and I know I'm going to get a ton of wears out of it. So if I wanted to wear a plain white shirt, I can definitely take this necklace, throw it on, some small earrings, hair up, show the necklace, boom. I'm ready to go. On my fashion radar for some time now, I just so happened to recently just say, you know what, let me just put it in my wish list because most of the time I am gonna get the things in my wish list, 99% <laughs> of the time. So it's in my wish list. Um, they do have a ton of necklaces there. They, they have ones where you could actually just buy like a necklace piece and add on a charm. So if this is a little bit too gaudy for you, too many layers for you, definitely check out some of the other necklaces. Very nice in my opinion. Like I said, I haven't seen a ton of girls with it, but that's me. I want to get something that not too many people have. They do have it. I just don't want it to be a ton of people. So the Dylan X <laughs> gilded necklace is another item that is on my fashion radar for 2024, guys. And then the other item is the Jimmy Choo CC Boots and 80. You guys know I already have the other ones, the really, really thigh high ones. These are knee length, so they say, but I'm tall, so they're actually on sale. Okay, so here's the thing. I wanted them in black and waited too long and my size was gone. If you don't know, if you're new to my channel, I wear a size 11, but Jimmy Choo be playing your girl and your girl has to get literally a 43. The other CC boots in 85 that I got, those are a 43. They're really long, they're really thigh high. I'm six feet and they come super high up. These are a little bit more everyday wear because they're a knee length and the color is something that I would wear often. My wardrobe is full of ivories and creams and beige colors that I know that I could wear these boots. The color is considered a latte. That's what it says, but it's giving me ivory, but they are called CC80 and they are on sale as well. Again, listen, I'm not all about paying full price all the time, but if something that I really want on my wish list goes on sale, I'm gonna grab it up if they have my size because it's really hard finding shoes nowadays that are good quality and in my size. So that's the other item on my fashion radar for 2024. If you stay this far in the video, make sure you are liking the video, guys. I am gonna be doing a series on this, so let me know what else you guys would wanna see in this particular series. So the last item is the Gabby Vanity Case by YSL. Now you're probably like, why do you want a vanity case? Da -da 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 -da. All right, I get it. This is just me adding this on my radar. If I find something a little bit cheaper, I'm definitely gonna get it because I really need a really nice leather one. So I'm gonna browse around, but this is the first one that I saw. I have an old Fendi one, but when I tell you it is so damaged right now, like it's so damaged that I had it for over 20 years, like over 20 years, over 20 years. I was, I was, I was, right out of maybe second job out of yeah maybe second job <laughs> I purchased that um very early on it was not it was expensive then but 
now that is a really really cheap price but i do want a vanity case and this is on my radar for 2024 so those are all the items that i have on my fashion radar for 2024 i was gonna put a ton of items on here but i wanted to keep this video short and sweet to see if you guys are interested in something like this if not i will not be doing them but the plan is to show you guys what's new in and what's on my radar and hopefully you guys enjoy that so if you are interested in more videos like this please comment below and if you stay to the end of this video please comment coco we see you and guys don't forget to follow me on instagram at coco styles nyc and coco styles ny and my personal style blog coco styles nyc and i'm on tiktok coco styles nyc and i will catch you guys in the next one